Are you a dinosaur yet? Subscribe to become one now. Hello all dinosaurs, I'm Dan and today we have four really cool figures. We have the Conotaurus from Nanmu Studios and two surprise figures. Okay, so let's get started on the first one. Okay, so let's open this up. If you're new here, my name is Dan. I review dinosaur toys and figures every single day, so make sure you subscribe if you like dinosaurs and Jurassic World. And fan art of the day will be at the end of this video. Let me just place this box aside and just on the floor first. So let's concentrate on this first, okay? So Nanmu Studio is actually a um, pretty new um, company and this is the card. Wow, it looks pretty amazing. Check this out guys. What a beautiful, you know, illustration on this figure. It is written in Chinese. So let's take a look. Shi Ro, New Long Conotaurus. Yeah, some facts about this dinosaur. What a beautiful sketch. And take a look at the back. Looks really wonderful. This is actually sculptured and modded and illustrated after the Conotaurus inside Jurassic World. So let's take a look at this. There are two different colors. Okay, so this is our first one. Let's get it out from the box. Wow. Is this like the first ever review of the Nanmu Studio Conotaurus? I'm not too sure, but you know, it could be the first one. So let's get this little figure out as well. Let me just take this out. Who is this? I'm not too sure. Let's take a look. It looks like um Claire, you know, where she actually tied her shirt in Jurassic World when she was with Owen. Remember the scene near the waterfall? Okay, let me just place it right at the back. So let's take a close look at this figure. Okay. Alright. Let me just take a close look. The lighting is kind of dark right here. So let me just push it aside. Okay, so let's take a close look at this figure. This articulation on the jaw. Beautiful. It looks beautiful, but it definitely does not look um, as detailed as the Indominus Rex, okay? Place this on the table. Can it stand well? Not exactly. I would say the surface is not the smoothest, but the most flat surface, so maybe it, it is not doing it justice. Let's, let's take a close look at this. Beautiful details. You can see the regions right here. Plenty of skin folds, tiny little arms, but you can't move them. The legs can't be moved as well. The material feels the same as the Indominus Rex. So this is the Indominus Rex from Nanmu Studio, and this is the Conotaurus from Nanmu Studio. Okay, and of course, let's take a look at this once again. Okay, in terms of details, definitely it is not as detailed as um, a Peppo figure or a um, Rebel. Okay, kind of disappointed with the tail right here. It is like missing out plenty of details. It's not consistent. The paint job is decent. I would say it definitely looked um, better in the photos online when it was released. I mean, before it was released. Yeah, but overall still a pretty nice figure in terms of the sculpt. As you can see, they've got the legs really, really well. Of course, um, the legs of a Conotaurus are actually pretty slim. So this is the first one. Some um, glossy paint inside um, the mouth. Okay, so there you go. So that's our first figure. It can't really stand well. So as you guys can see. So from Nanmu Studio, there are also two other figures, which is right over here. They call this the Berserker Raptor and this is the Apostles Nightmare. So these two are modded after the Indoraptor. And this one of course the Indominus Rex. I think 
this is really really well done, the Indominus Rex. For the Conotaurus, I love the sculpt, I love the pose. Um, just not a um, super huge fan of the detailing on this. But it is still a brilliant figure, if you ask me, I would give it like a um, 80 out of uh, 100. But I was hoping for a um, 90. Okay, so that's our first figure of the day, let's move on. Okay, so um, the next figure, let's take a look at this. Okay, which is the same figure but in a different color, so let's get the human out, of course, it should be the same. Here, what's that? Okay, so let's do a comparison. Um, this is the green one. Can you see it? And this is the red one. Okay. All right. I'm starting to see a difference. The red one definitely looks better for sure. I mean, some of you guys may prefer the green one but this looks more natural this looks like you know the paint is wearing off maybe some algae growing on the body but this definitely looks much better okay to me at least of course um, it is definitely closer to the Conotaurus in the movie but overall I would still say it's for this figure I would definitely give it a higher score probably like 85 out of 100 or just 8.5 out of 10. Yeah, beautiful figure. This one, I think the, the paint work really makes such a difference. If you take a look at this, just not a huge fan of this green, but that's wow. Okay, I actually missed this out. Beautiful, but light arm feet. You can see the claws, you can see the shiny gloss on the claws, but yeah, this is definitely way better. But it doesn't feel as premium as um, the figures from Peppo for sure. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Okay, just gonna lean it against the Indominus Rex. Okay, next up, we're gonna open up the the other two um, surprise figures. Okay. Okay, next box. All right, let's open this up, please. Do not use a um, box cutter on your own. Ask your parents to help you out because it can be really, really dangerous. Okay, basically, these two are the latest figures from. Let's take a look, okay? Surprise, surprise. Two figures from. Or rather, three. Oh, did I buy so many? can't even remember okay but I just want to review these two okay these two are older figures which I've just got um, yeah I'll, we will probably review these two in another video so let's review this yeah this is the new Gorgosaurus from Peppo yes New Gorgosaurus from Papo, oh my goodness, but it is looking kind of small. I've thought it is going to be as big as um, the T-Rex. So this is kind of disappointing. I didn't realize it. Oh my goodness, it's so tiny. <laughs> okay, it looks like a minifigure. It looks so tiny. Gorgosaurus, oh my goodness, Peppo, why did you produce Gorgosaurus in a uh, mini size? I'm not too sure, I was expecting, I was going to compare this with the Gorgosaurus, I mean the Tyrannosaurus Rex and take a look at this, it looks so tiny, I mean, it is a good figure, I love the head sculpt, you know, the jaw looks brilliant the details you know on this I mean if you compare it with the Conotaurus it is just head and shoulders above in terms of the details but you know definitely not the size oh my goodness Apple what are you thinking of is it just me is it just me I was hoping for a um, huge figure you know the size of 
an actual Candosaurus. I actually prepared to do a comparison with um, these two figures. But, okay, I'm caught by surprise. But, you know, still brilliant. It has beautiful details on this. Check this out, guys. The teeth, incredibly well detailed. The face sculpt. I mean, this is just, you know, a um, typical, classic, fantastic figure from Papo. Just brilliant. But I am shocked and I'm surprised by the size. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at the other um, figure which I've bought. I mean, I'm sorry guys. Um, if you ask me, I'm giving this like a um, 95 or maybe 93. If this is an actual figure, probably even a 96% figure. But because of the size, I'm just gonna give it like 80. 80, because it is so much less impressive when it is, it is so small. I mean, do you guys agree with me? I'm not too sure. Maybe some of you guys might prefer um, smaller size figures, but you know, this would definitely fit into my shelf much easily. Okay, um... Okay, uh, I can't remember the name of this figure. Let me just check. Uh, I think it is a Pentaceratops, just to be sure. Yes, it is a Pentaceratops. Um, I mean, the frill it looks awesome. Pentaceratops is known as the five horned face. One, two, three, four, five. Focus scholars, I don't know the nickname, but let's take a look at the sheet provided for me to see what does it say. Just give me one second. It is known as um Lizard Heap. Wait, uh, I'm not too sure. Dreadful Lizard. Dreadful Lizard. Okay. So let's take a look at this Pentaceratops. It looks brilliant. I love it. Okay, it has this little spine which reminds me of um the Acrocanthosaurus. Alright, and the paint work is amazing. The details is amazing and to be really really honest I wasn't sure of the pose when I saw it online but right now I feel it looks brilliant it's kind of refreshing cause usually usually you get um, this kind of pose for um, you know herbivores and um, ceratop shins and check this out this is the guanodon for comparison and um, yes, this Pentaceratops is definitely awesome figure. So if you guys want to choose between these two for display, I would go for this because it is way more magnificent in terms of its size. Size does really, really matter when it comes to displaying dinosaurs. The bigger you know they are, the more impressive they look. And this is definitely a pretty impressive figure if you take a look at this you know this what do you call this the shield um oh my goodness i can't even the crown it looks awesome plenty of details the spikes are amazing the details on this face is amazing let's do a comparison but you know if you take a look at this therizinosaurus this is one that really really stands out for me this is one of the best figures from Papo. i mean i I'm not a huge fan of this big belly, but this is how it is. But in terms of details, paint work, this is just spot on and um, just amazing work from artists. Yeah, it's not you know the typical kind of guys or, or, or you know you know typical. Or, it has to be done by an artist to be able to craft something out like this. So yes, these are brilliant figures from Peppo. I love them. So, um, yes. So overall, what do I think of my, um, this buy? Which one is the most favorite? I mean, if you ask me, I would say the Pentaceratops is my most favorite among these four new figures. What about you guys? 
The Gorgosaurus, it's amazing, I love the details on it, but it's very very disappointing when it is actually so small. I'm very very surprised and I'm pretty disappointed, but overall these four figures, they are brilliant. You know, I don't really rate them so highly, but yes, they are brilliant figures. This Pentaceratops, I'm giving it a, um, a 90. Nine, 9 out of 10 This is probably like um, 8, 8.5 Similar to the Conotaurus Yeah What about you guys? Let me know down below And our fan art of the day goes to Zane Okay, and Zane is a very very talented boy You know, he makes videos He makes some reviews And um, check out Check out his Instagram, the link down below and check out this sketch from him which is an indoor raptor, I, I love it and uh, well done to you Zayn and um, thanks for your support and if you guys want to send me your fan art just drop me a DM on my Instagram and I'll be happy to showcase them in the next video okay so I am Dan, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up Share it, drop me a comment, and I'll try my best to reply to you as soon as possible. And if you're new here, my name is Dan. I upload dinosaur videos every single day. So make sure you subscribe if you like dinosaurs and Jurassic World. And what a long video, okay? Alright, see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.